Welcome to another Thrifty Tingles, where I visit a local thrift store in search of tingly items to share with you. If you've never seen Thrifty Tingles, there are three basic rules that I have to follow. Rule number one, I cannot spend over five dollars. Rule number two, the item or items that I purchase have to be not only tingle-worthy, but also useful to me in my own life. And rule number three, each time I visit the thrift store, I have to bring something of mine to donate. Something that I'm no longer using, but could be of benefit to somebody else. So, the items I'm going to share with you today. Uh, the first thing was actually purchased a while back, um, and I just never uh, brought them into a video before now, but I'm going to share them with you today. Uh, and then the second item is uh, a more recent purchase, but they both uh, total Four dollars. And on the first trip to the thrift store, I can't, it's been so long, I can't remember what I donated that day. But um, on the more recent trip, I got rid of some uh, clothes that didn't fit me properly anymore. And a pair of shoes. Cool. So I'm going to show you items uh, first, and then I'm going to show them to you up close in more detail after that. So the first item is actually two items, and I found these for a dollar, and it's this uh, really cute little salt and pepper. And these came together. And I believe this one is for salt. And this one is for pepper. This one, I'll try and show you up close, is a little uh, adorable <laughs> whale. You see his tail? He has these cute believe is the pepper shaker is a little green alligator. <laughs> and he has little teeth ridges right here. And a cute tail also. And they both came together for I'm going to show those to you in a minute, uh, more up close. First, the second item I found, that I found the other day, I'm excited about. This is a and checkers set. It opens up like a box and inside are all of the pieces to play. Chess and checkers. And I found this for three dollars. So I'm gonna share this with you. Open it up and take a look at all. 
all the pieces. And I also have my binaural microphone with me today. So, as I show you my thrifty tingles items, I'll also be doing a little bit of ear-to-ear -ear whispering and some nice ear-to-ear -ear sounds. So, I hope that you enjoy. So I believe that the little blue whale is for salt. I've actually never known for sure, but I think one little hole means it's for salt, and three means pepper, but I might be wrong. Either way, it's really cute that the whale has just the one because it's kind of reminiscent of favorite thing about him uh, is his little eyes. That's the only feature that he was given. Facial feature, that is. I think they're really really cartoony. the one that has the three uh, little openings. <laughs> and he's got little tiny eye dots as well. And cute little kind of stubby My favorite part are his, uh, his teeth, which are just kind of ridges right here. It makes him look kind of like adorably ferocious. I don't know if you can tell, but his um, nose or, I don't know, snout or whatever, kind of comes to a little bitty slight point. He sort of slopes up.
He will not get to fulfill his seasoning destiny just yet. Since I have the salt here, I figured I might as well play with it for a little bit. my table salt here. Which I'm going to pour into a little uh, measuring cup. blue way.
Stephen ASMR has a great video where he uh, kind of plays with a salt canister like this one and some salt. I believe it's one of his earlier videos. If you want to go find it at some point. Okay. So I'm going to pour some of this out. is part of a set of little nesting measuring cups that uh, all sort of fit together that I got at Drumroll I think I got it for two or three dollars, maybe, max. And they're really useful. Okay. A little measuring spoon. It's a little bit reminiscent.
some sugar scooping with my little wooden scoop. and use it from time to time. I'm going to pour some salt into the salt shaker. But not from here. Because that would be an incredible mess. So it's got a little rubber stopper here in the bottom that I'll need to pop out and it's hollow on the inside so I'm just going to use the big salt can a little spout. And we're gonna fill her up. There we go. I'll stop her back in. And we're good. <laughs> Do a 
little demonstration. I think you're supposed to throw it over your left shoulder for a look. If I'm wrong, then I might have really bad luck starting now. You can hear the salt shaking. Second thrifty tingles item. And I'll show you all the pieces of my new used chess and chess. Inside are all of the pieces that you need to play a game of checkers or a game of read from briefly. I won't read everything here, but 
I'll read the object of each game. Chess. The object of the game is to force the opponent into checkmate. Checkmate is accomplished by forcing the opponent's king into a position where it cannot move. Any move will therefore result Player may at any time in the game concede defeat if victory is deemed impossible. Checkers is a much simpler game. The object of checkers is to capture and remove the opponent's checkers from the game board. I'll place that aside for now. never learned to play chess. But I play checkers a lot when I was a kid. He was the one that taught me how to play. And he was pretty good at it. And he taught me lots of cool moves. these little pieces to you up close. To me they kind of look like cookies. Little tiny ones. Could just be because I'm hungry. <laughs> These look like little vanilla and chocolate cookies. really warm uh, feelings associated with playing checkers because of my memories with my granddad. Is his word?
wooden like these though they were plastic they were red and black Always let me be red. Two motivations for buying this set when I saw it. One was that I would actually really like to learn to play chess. And my boyfriend knows how and can teach me. But my other motivation was that when my son gets a little bit older, I'd like to play checkers with him. sort of family tradition, I guess. I think he'll enjoy that. Okay, so I've laid out our game board. And although I don't play chess, I am going to share with you what little knowledge I do have. And I'm going to identify each of the different chess pieces and then show you their position on the board uh, setup. Which I think I have correct. correct, uh, but I'm pretty sure that the lowest, uh, or I guess least significant piece is this one, and this one is called order these go in, but uh, this is the rook, and it's kind of shaped like a little castle tower thing. I'll show it to you up close. I think this one is my favorite, just Visually, I guess. I also like the word rook. It's kind of fun to say. I don't know why. Rook. <laughs> and 
and then after that there is the night which sort of looks like a little horse I think it's meant to one is interesting. It's called Bishop and this is a question for any of you uh, chess whizzes out there. I'll show you up close. It's got a little sort of curious what the purpose of that is, or what it is meant to signify, if anything. Maybe you could tell me if you know. I'd be very interested to hear. Next. Is the queen and then the king. And I believe this is proper board setup. Going from the outside in, it goes rook, knight. and queen. And they're sort of flanked on either side by the bishop, the knight, and the rook. And then I think eight pawns go in front of them. Sort of like the Seven and eight. And then it's the same on the other side with the black pieces, or uh, in our case. Sort of dark brown. Three, four, 
clean. Bishop. way for the knights and the uh, bishops to face on the board. I bet there is. But you'll have to forgive me for not being aware of what that is. that this is the proper setup for a game of chess, but past this point I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but I really enjoy sounds of the pieces as they are. Moved around the board. They've got sort of a soft pad on the bottom. a nice little soft tap. So maybe the next time you see this chess board, I will have learned to play. And I'll do some ASMR. seeing you all again very soon good night on a saucer and it even has a little sugar spoon and it looks like the coffee is kind of I don't know, it looks really real to me. It really looks like liquid. And with the plate of pastries. It's so cute. Yeah, I'll let you hear this little sound.